This is my favorite new sound chip to use. It's basically an MP3 player. Previously, I've used this YX5300, which requires an SD card, micro SD card, and an audio amplifier. Whereas this one, which is available on AliExpress, um, even with shipping, it's about you know just over two bucks. Um, but it has onboard four megabytes of flash RAM. That's really about enough for about a, well, a single three-minute MP3. This thing can play uh, MP3, supposedly WAV files too. I've only tried MP3s. Had best luck with those. But basically, you're going to load MP3s um, through this micro USB connector right at the top. Very easy to load, and just kind of number them. You know, zero 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 one, zero 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 two. Um, there's data sheets all over the internet that show how to use that. And there's actually several modes on this chip. Um, there's so many pins, as you can tell. There's uh, there's a direct access mode. If you want to, you could just hook up uh, eight push buttons and just kind of trigger files one through eight directly. Um, I'm more interested in using UART mode, where it's going to be controlled by a microprocessor. And you do have full control over, you know, volume and... Uh, you can do shuffle if you want to, or you can call it specific files. Um, and I generally use these with uh, simple micros. This is a basic stamp to homework board, and here's a pickaxe 08M2. We'll get to those in a minute. Um, but again, um, I like to use these things just for under, under microprocessor control. So we don't even need that many pins. There's only really three pins you need to hook up with this. And here's how you wire it up. Basically... Um, you're going to share the ground connection. Um, these three pins all go to ground. That's one connection. And then um, these two connectors go to 5 volts. Serial in goes over there. And your 4, four to 8 ohm speaker goes over there. If they recommend 4 volts, um, because this one does have an onboard 5 watt uh, audio amplifier. So I only have 8 ohms handy. And uh, those are actually plenty loud. Let's see. Let's, let's take a listen. So anyway... Um, Oh, but uh, let's look at the code real quick, just because, again, it's real simple. Here's basic stamp, basic stamp 2 code over there, and we're sending very simple um, serial commands, 9600 baud, and nearly identical uh, commands for the pickaxe as well. Um, it is interesting for the longer uh, commands, you have to have to use a checksum at the end. Um, that's one difference between the the commands between this and the YX5300. Okay, so anyway, I've preloaded some Lost in Space robot files on here. Affirmative. Affirmative, Dr. Smith. And these are just spaced to like allow about four seconds in between. Warning! Warning! In between files. Zero. So With that, alien life forms, ours is not to reason why. Okay, so that's the that's uh, that one, and here's basic stamp. Affirmative. If you've noticed. I've hooked up two, LED, Dr. Smith. two LEDs directly across the speaker leads. Your behavior pattern is works, works fine. Due to work actually conditions of memory simulates, bank. simulates the loss danger, of this robot's uh, chest flashing. There is a dangerous alien among us. And again, these are both Did you ring, speakers, Dr. Smith? especially this, this pillow speaker here. Dr. Smith. Really loud. The little that does not compute. And one, one interesting fact that, that I did note... Um, the data sheet says that the default volume wakes up uh, is at 20, whereas 30 is maximum. But from my own experiments, it does wake up at maximum volume of 30. So again, that's that's one of the one of the commands here to set the volume. But again, my favorite noodle chip, and uh, highly recommended.